Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Empire Builder, How to Build Your Empire Now. I hope everyone is staying safe during these challenging times. And yes, I'm going to keep using the word challenging times. There's been so many questions about what we should be doing right now. What can we do? What are we allowed to do? And I'm going to tell you how we are getting through it right now, because this is really important. And it reminds me of something that started for me in seventh grade, actually. So going back into seventh grade, obviously a lot of you know I was big into basketball. And I played with a lot of great people in New York City. And uh, numerous players were getting letters and coaches were coming to see them. And I was sitting there trying to figure out how come everybody else was getting noticed and I was getting the goose egg. Nothing, right? Good morning, Jason. Solomon, thank you for jumping on. I appreciate your time. Hope you guys are doing well. And, you know, in seventh grade for me, that's a big thing as a kid. I was into basketball in New York City, and everybody, you know, numerous people were getting noticed, and I was not getting anything. A phone call, a letter. And what really turned the corner for me in the next year was when I stopped worrying about everybody else. When I stopped worrying about them and started focusing on me and how can I get better? How could I become the best version of myself to get the colleges to notice my game? And there are so many things that we go through in our lives where this occurs, you know? Why are others winning and not us? Especially during the pandemic and what's been going on. Why are they winning and not us? So you have to go back and confront the brutal facts. And if you're a fan of Jim Collins, good to great. Uh, no better book that a business owner should read or even a person to understand that you do need to confront the brutal facts and it starts with you yourself. So that's what I wanted to talk about a little bit today. If you get a chance, please share this out because we are talking about how to help business owners come out of this and be better than ever. And if you want to know why we could talk about this, because we've been through this. We have excelled through past recessions and there's very few people that could talk about the exact experience to remove yourself from your business and work on your business and not be trapped inside it so you become burnt out. And you know, step one to getting this done, because this is really important to setting yourself up for success right now and there's lots of opportunity is to realize that you should be focusing on what? You should be focusing on less things right now, not more. And a lot of people are talking about, yes, you need to pivot. That's a little bit different. Maybe you need to do something a little bit different, but you still need to focus on your wheelhouse stuff that has generated success and where you have the most experience and benefit that you can provide others with. To me, that's the most important thing you could do. Focus on less right now. Almost do less. Eliminate the busy work. It starts by eliminating things that are wasting your time. Time is the most precious thing. And that does not change. If you watch the news, you have the virus, you have the protests, you have the rioting, all of these things. They're terrible things going on in our country right now. But we will come out of this. And how will you as a person come out of this, as a leader, as a parent, okay? As a sibling, whatever your role is, how will you come out of this? And to give you another example of how challenging it is, so someone, something happened to us recently where someone in our industry actually stole information from our virtual training academy. They stole it and they're marketing it. And I'll tell you, 10, 15 years ago, Brooklyn style, I would have been going crazy on them. I would have called them first thing. And if that's how they want to portray their business out there, then I will let that go for this because they could pretend to be what they want. But I truly believe if you're ethical and moral in what you do, it will pay off for you and your loved ones and your work family in the future. So that is something that I have elevated to through over the years and how not to react emotionally to things, okay? Because no one can hang their hat on, on what we've done, what we've proven, the model, and gotten us to this point and what we've been sharing with our clients 
on how to make their business, make their lives better and enhance it and not be a slave to their business. So step two would be, you know, what are you passionate about? What wakes you up in the morning that you can help others with? Because if you're not excited to wake up in the morning, okay, over something, go back, reflect a little bit, and take some time to yourself. Reflection is a big part of clearing your head because there's so many distractions like we talked about in step one. So eliminate some stuff, focus on less, and then really sit down with yourself and decide what you're passionate about. If you're passionate about traveling and spending time with your family, well, how do you build your career and your business model so that it enhances those things that are you're passionate about? But if you could take your business model and incorporate your passion and serve others with it, that is the ultimate step because you're gonna be loving your entire life. It's not, I hate work, I love work, okay? I love what I do, I get up every morning. This is part of my life. The whole balance thing for me, it doesn't work for me, but everybody has a different definition for it, okay? So step three would be, you have to commit. And growing up in an Italian family, everybody loves to talk, right? Big talkers. Talking means nothing, okay? Absolutely nothing. It goes by your actions. It goes by your results. That is what people should truly be judged on. What you do, not just what you say. Words are easy to actually spew out today on social media especially. Everybody has an opinion, okay? Who's given the opinion, okay? You should fact check me. Fact check Dr. Scott Colonna. Is he talking about BS or what at this point? Because I can tell you, I'll hang my hat on anything we do. You know, at 42 years old, John and I stopped seeing patients and have been running our companies. Yes, doctors can do that. You can do that. There's a way to do that. There's a system. There's a formula. Is it overnight? No, it takes hard work. But you could have your business create a passive income for you at 42 years old. You want to know why? Because I did it. It is a proven thing. It can be done. And what separates you is the actions you take towards your dreams and your goals. When you have them all aligned, that is what living your best life is. I hope you guys have a great one. Please share this out. If I could help you in any way, please reach out to our team. I want you guys to stay safe. Go build your empire. Have a great week. Thank you so much.